Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm filming my pregnancy update for weeks 28 through 29. I said in my last pregnancy update that I, since I'm in my third trimester now, I'm going to start doing pregnancy updates every two weeks. Um, if I feel like I need to do them every week in like the last month or so, if things are really starting to move along and just, I just have a lot of things to update about, I might. But for now, I'm just going to do every two weeks. That seems like a lot, but at the same time, things are just happening. Um, things are coming up a lot with the baby, baby coming, our living situation, all that kind of stuff. So I figured every two weeks is better than every four, so it maybe they're shorter videos. So I'm just going to jump right on into it, into symptoms and anything that happened this week. So symptoms. My appetite has increased tenfold. Like it's insane. I read a long time ago actually that this would happen in my second trimester and it never really did. I mean, maybe a little bit, nothing that I would have really call quite crazy. But the second my third trimester started pretty much, I am hungry every hour. Like, not even a, oh, I could eat kind of hungry. Like, I am starving. You need to get me food or I'm going to throw up. And they're, and I mean, I guess they're smaller meals during the day. But I still eat, like, three big meals and then snacks in between. And I'm still hungry. Like, I just had brunch with a friend and I am already hungry again. So... And I'm starting to get angry if I'm not given food pretty quickly. <laughs> so that has definitely um, been a change for this trimester so far. Um, that's really it for symptoms. I have other stuff to talk about, but that's it for symptoms, really. I had talked about in my last update how I was feeling pretty uncomfortable. My back was hurting. My stomach was still tight. The tightness in my stomach, obviously, that's not going to go away. That's just going to get worse. She's getting bigger. She's taking up more room, and I'm a small person. So that's getting sore. It's a lot more sore in the morning than any other time. I don't know why. If that happens to you guys, let me know, or if you know why. It's, like, mainly the bottom of my stomach, too. I don't know. It's very odd. I don't. It doesn't make any sense, and I don't. That's when I really notice it the most is when I wake up in the morning and I first get out of bed. I don't know if it's because I've been laying down for so long and then I get up and that movement is too much or what. But it's definitely a sore. My back, it's, I would say it's sore by the end of the day. But I feel like that's pretty common. Especially if you're working, going to school, um, doing all the things, housework, all that. I'm sure that that's pretty normal. I did start exercising six to seven days a week um, before anybody freaks out and says, like, you're going to lose weight, blah, blah, blah. And I mean, if I do lose a pound or two, that's not a big deal. Like, I'm not trying to lose weight, but I'm mainly just trying to stay active because I know I've noticed. And then I've heard this too, and I called. I was kind of just like, mm hmm, okay, whatever. But it's actually a thing. The more active you are, the less uncomfortable you're going to be. And so the other day I was just having a really bad day with my body and I did not feel good. And so I went and it's only like a 20 minute workout at most. And then I walk slash if I'm feeling okay that day, run on the treadmill for a little bit. So it's not a long workout. It's not super intense. That's not what I'm doing. I'm not trying to work out to lose weight. I'm mainly trying to do it to stay active, ready for labor and just be more fit and then I hopefully that makes my recovery a little bit easier which I've heard that's that happens so what I've been doing is I've just been um youtubing youtubing is that a word I'm not sure I've been typing in on youtube prenatal workouts I like the body fit by Amy I think that's what her channel she's really good she has a lot of pregnancy uh, um workout videos and she tells you oh if you're in your first trimester or your second or if you're more fit, you can do this modification. If you're not necessarily as active normally, or if you're in your third one, maybe try this modification. And she gives you a lot of little tips and tricks. And she also has a lot of workouts that are just using your body weight so you don't have to use any equipment. So there was one day where I really didn't want to leave my apartment to go to the gym. I just wanted to stay home. So I just did it in my room, my bedroom really fast. And it was fine and I still like kind of broke a sweat so that's, that's really nice to do especially if you don't if you aren't really set on walking on a, or running on a treadmill and you just want to do it home for you just have two dumbbells I'm pretty sure that's all she's used in her videos is 
two dumbbells sometimes. So if you have that or if you want to order them, I don't think they're that expensive. You never really have to leave your apartment. So that's one perk. I also have been doing some from, I think Pop Sugar has a few prenatal workout videos. And there's some yoga videos. I kind of just do whatever I'm in the mood for. Normally I do, once a, once a week I do a yoga video. I do a whole body, full body workout. One day I do arms, one day I do legs and butt, one day I do abs. And then one day I do cardio. And if I have an extra day, if I want to do another day, I usually probably just do a full body one and a walk or I have a free day. This week, I, after Thanksgiving, and I worked out Thanksgiving day after Thanksgiving, Saturday after Thanksgiving, and I was like, I'm gonna give myself a break. So I didn't work out once a week this week, but that's six days a week so is enough, trust me. So that's really been helping with my pain. So if you're also maybe as far as along, far along as I am, farther or not even as far, and you're kind of uncomfortable, I really suggest, it doesn't even have to go to the gym, just walking, that's been really nice. And it's really helped with my um, body aches. So next is, I did have my 28 week appointment and that was a crazy appointment. We had a lot of stuff to do. I did have an ultrasound and my placenta has moved up so I am not at risk for placenta previa anymore and I it means I don't have to have a c-section I can try vaginally and I'm so happy about that I am th over the moon and they were pretty confident that it would because it was already pretty far it wasn't as far as they wanted it but it was it wasn't already covering it so they were pretty confident that it would move up but still it's very nice to hear I also have my glucose test I passed that I I'm going to tell you this just because I didn't know and so maybe there there has to be somebody like me but my doctor didn't really tell me what I needed to do for my test and every place is different every hospital is different every doctor is different so if your doctor hasn't told you yet and your test is coming up I would just call them that's what I had to do because I didn't know I had read some people that they had they were told to fast didn't know if I needed to do that and if I needed to I needed to know because I was I'm hungry all the time so I called my doctor and she said that I don't need to fast, but that they suggest not having any sugar or very few carbs for your meal before. My test, I went the morning of my appointment. So I went around eight. So I had breakfast. I waited an hour between finishing breakfast and going just so I hadn't just eaten. And I had two eggs, two scrambled eggs and a couple of pieces of bacon. And she even said don't have any fruit because fruit can have a lot of sugar in it. Even if it's like healthy sugar, it still has a lot of sugar. So, and that can skew your results. So that's what I had, if, if any of you were curious. And I didn't have my coffee until I got back and I had, I just had water. And then I passed. So that worked for me. Um, I also got my whooping cough shot. You don't have to do that. I opted in for that. I felt more comfortable doing that just because I will be breastfeeding hopefully. So I'm going to be kind of. In close quarters with her and breathing on her and I didn't want anything to go to her that I doesn't need to also John is planning on getting that he will still have a semester left of school and who knows what the heck college kids have in their systems like what bacteria so I was like if you're coming home with some of that stuff I'd rather let's take the precaution and have you get that shot as well and he's totally fine with it I did get my RH shot for my blood type and I also have to get that once I give birth so I can get pregnant again. And you have to have those shots every pregnancy. And then they also called me and told me that my blood type came, my blood came back still anemic from the first trimester. If you remember that from one of my updates, they had told me that I was anemic and I needed to start taking iron. But it was so difficult to keep the iron down that I told them I couldn't do it and they told me to just stop. They never really told me to start it back up again and they've taken my blood before and they haven't really called so i never started again they said that it was pretty low and now i need to start taking it twice a day so i take it once in the morning and once at night um but that's it for my symptoms and everything next i will show you some stuff that we got for the baby and for myself actually i have one right here and then i'll show you my bump and then i think that's it for this video so First things first, for myself, I guess it's kind of for both of us. Her stuff's going to be in it, but I'm going to be the one carrying it. But I got my diaper bag. 
I was gonna wait. I wasn't asking for anybody to purchase this just because it was a little pricey and I made that decision. Normally I am a cheapskate when it comes to stuff, but I figured this is going to replace, it's, it's a diaper bag. This is going to replace my purse and I want to be sturdy, but I also want to be something that I enjoy carrying and that I think is pretty in fashionable and not like a generic diaper bag that has like elephants or some crazy print on it. Some people love those. I don't personally love that for myself. And this one is leather. Sorry to people who don't agree with leather, but so it will stay up for multiple children and it it just looks really nice so it doesn't look like a diaper bag like i don't know i really enjoy it so and it's a small business so i like supporting small businesses and companies okay this is the fawn design diaper bag i got the black color with gold hardware and i just love this it's i mean I feel like it's bigger than it's looking in video. I'm not sure. I feel like video always distorts everything. But it can be worn as a backpack. It has a strap that I took off just for storage right now inside that can be attached on the sides and it can be worn over your, on your shoulder or as a cross body. Anyway, I love all of them. So a backpack might be nice for when you're wearing your baby if you, if you decide to do that, which I'm really wanting to do that. But I really like this this is 160 so like i said it is a little pricey but i thought it was totally worth it it is something that's kind of for yourself so i think splurging sometimes when you're about to be a new mom is a really nice thing to do for yourself but it has two pockets over here which can fit like a water bottle for yourself or a bottle for your baby if you're formula feeding or breastfeeding um, or pumping and then it has a pocket in here which i think would be really nice for like keys or Something that you're going to want to get pretty easily. And then it also has a pocket right here. Like a phone. And then when you open up the top. It opens up like this. And it has a pocket in the back. A zipper pocket. You can't really see. And then it has pockets all around the perimeter. And then it has one big pocket in the middle. So it has a lot of storage. I... Like I said, I really enjoy this. I'm very glad I got this and I can't wait till she's here so I can start using this. And then the next thing I got is this blanket. I got this from TJ Maxx. I went to get some different throw pillows and stuff for our bed. And I also went to go look for sheets for her bassinet, which I found at Target. But I found this blanket at TJ Maxx for a little girl. And it's this like this looks a lot more pink in the video. It's like a pretty peach color. Like it's not very pink. And then it has gray pom poms all around or around the two edges. This is so soft and so plush, and I just oh, I love it so much. I want one for myself, but it's not big enough. But this is from the brand Mon Lapin. I'm not sure. I'll put the name down below since it is from tj maxx i'm probably not gonna be able to find it anywhere but i would just try going to your local one but yes i love this i just draped this over my rocking chair just for now just to make everything kind of cute until she's here but i love this blanket it is so cute and just so ah, so adorable and then everything else i got i'm actually going to take the camera and show you because it is set up and that's just easier on me we also did get her car seat and stroller, which I'm doing, a, I did a whole separate video on that. So I will upload that in the next couple of days and link it below. But we did get the Evenflow Pivot Modular Travel System. And like I said, I did a whole video on how you attach it, what it looks like, the price, everything. But it does come with the car seat. And so it came with, a, the color we got came with a different kind of car seat, but it was the Evenflow Safe Max. I think is what it's called. They have an infant max and a safe max. And I think ours came with a safe max. But yes, it was really nice. I loved it. And I'm very excited to use it when she's here. And then we got her glider and some bassinet sheets. So I will show you those. First, I'm going to show you our glider that we got. It, we did get it from Walmart. It's the brand Angel Line, I believe. And we got the gray cushion color and I put this together myself and it was actually pretty easy. So 
yeah, but we really like it. It looks like this. Ignore all the mess and the debris and stuff and the all that, but it came with the ottoman. And again, I said I've been putting her blanket on there just to make it a little cuter. But I've been sitting in it actually during the day just to kind of help my back pain a little bit. And it is really comfy. So I'm very excited about that. And next, I'm going to show you the bassinet sheets that we got for her. We got them from Target. I'll have to link the brand below because I cannot remember. But... I just got the gray and white pair. We that was the only one that was there, and I really needed to get something to cover up her mattress and her thing. But it came with one one sheet that has gray polka dots on it, and another sheet that's just plain white. So I have a backup, which is really nice. I did register for I think a pink set. So if we get them awesome, if not, I don't think I'm gonna buy another pair. I think two is enough probably, especially since she's probably gonna be swaddled up anyways. So whatever. But this is it so we already had this blanket i just draped it over again like the thing and we already have that but they just look like this they are an oval shape which is the shape of her mattress obviously but they're pretty soft i haven't even washed them yet i just put them on there just for looks pretty much they're jersey material and you just tuck them under and they're really nice and this is a pretty big bassinet and it still fits so i think it fits most I think it fits most bassinets. Okay, and lastly, I'm going to show you guys my baby bump and then this video should be done. <laughs> okay, so this is my bump for 20, or for 30 weeks now, I guess, but in a 29, looks like this. I move my hair and I'll pull my pants down. But this, oh, just flashed you guys a little bit. This is my baby bump for week 28 and 29. It is getting there. Again, my belly button is so close popping out. I haven't noticed any stretch marks. That's my scar for my appendix surgery. I haven't noticed any stretch marks or the linea nigra or whatever it's called. So that's nice, but I kind of look like I swallowed a basketball. But yeah, this little girl is growing so fast and I'm so excited to meet her. Okay guys, that is it for my pregnancy update weeks 28 through 29. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's getting very close and very real. She is coming into this world soon. I am only have 10 weeks left till my due date. She could be here before that. She could be here after. Who knows? This girl is kind of stubborn so far. So I think she might... I don't know. She, she could stay after. I was early though. So hopefully it's earlier. I don't have to wait so long to meet her. But... I, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you like me, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And I will be back in the next few days with another video. Bye guys.